In this video, I'll be testing this magic auto supply and demand trading indicator created by Ladner Trader. I'll be back testing this 100 times using AUDJPY on the 5 minute time frame to see if this really is magic. Now, for this strategy, we're going to be needing two indicators. So let's go to the indicators tab. And for the first indicator, we're going to need the supply and demand based pattern by Hassan Rifat. Now, once loaded, we need to make some adjustments to this in the settings. So double click on the indicator. And we're going to change the candle health from 60 to 24. And we're going to change the base max retracements from 0.8 to 1. Okay, so in this strategy, we're going to be using this indicator to find supply and demand levels. Now, in simple terms, the supply is the level that we're going to look to take sells. And the demand is the area where we're going to be looking to take buys. Now, to make it easier, this indicator will highlight the supply and demand. As we can see, the demand here is colored in green and it's outlined with a box. Now, it will also print the supply and it'll be highlighted in red and also within a box. Now, in addition to this, we're also going to be using this to find our entry signals. As we can see here, it's going to print these red and green labels. Of course, green when we're looking to take longs out of the demand area and red when we're looking to take shorts out of the supply area. So now we need to go and get the second in indicator which is going to be our confirmation indicator so let's go back to the indicators tab and for the second indicator we're going to need the ultimate volume supply and demand by this user here now let's also open up the settings of this indicator let's go to inputs change the plot height in percentage from 80 to 100 and now we're set up okay so in this strategy this second indicator is going to be used to confirm our signals as we can see down here on the bottom is going to be made up of red and green candles when we see a red candle on a cell label that's going to be a new valid signal to go short and when we see a green candle below our buy label then that's a new valid signal to go long so now let's go over the exact entry criteria okay so this is your entry criteria we're looking for long positions first we need to make sure the price has highlighted a recent demand and this is signified by the lines and the box colored in green now following this we're going to wait for the entry signal to be printed which is our green label here now once we have this buy signal we can take the instant execution only if we have a valid green volume candle and we can check this by lining up the volume candle within our buy signal candle and as we can see on the candle that issued the signal we also had a green volume candle so in this scenario this is a valid signal and we can take the instant execution stop loss just below the most recent swing low and we will target a 1.5 risk to rewards Okay, so in this scenario, we had beautiful momentum shifting straight up and we actually hit the tape profit within two candles. So let's go and take a look at another long example. Okay, so as we can see here, we have a green box within green lines, which means we're in a bullish structural market because the indicator has just highlighted a demand level. Now, once the indicator has determined the direction, we've now waited for our entry signal, which is just a green signal below price action. As we can see here, we had it below this most recent candle. So now we're going to confirm confirm this entry by checking the volume and making sure that the volume candle has also printed a green candle. So if we line it up here, we've had that green candle on the buy signal that was printed. So we can take this as an instant execution, stop loss below the most recent swing low, targeting a 1.5 risk to reward beautiful so let's go take a look at the sell criteria okay so this is your entry criteria when looking for sell positions first we need to make sure that the supply and demand indicator has highlighted the most recent supply level in a red box with also red lines signifying to us we're looking to take short positions because we're in a sell structural market secondly we're going to wait for a sell label to be issued directly above price action as we can see here we've had that sell label issued highlighted in red but now we need to to confirm this trade by checking down below and making sure that we also have a red volume candle so we can take this as an instant execution stop loss just above the most recent swing high and we will target the 1.5 risk to rewards 
Okay, so we nearly got stopped out, but let's go and take a look at another short example. Okay, so as we can see here, the supply and demand indicator has just highlighted the most recent supply. So then we waited for our sell label to be issued. As we can see here, directly above the candle, which is a valid entry signal, but only if we confirm this signal with the volume. So then we confirm this signal by checking the volume is also issued a red bar color on the same candle that we had the sell label. And as we can see here, they line up perfectly. So we can take this as an instant execution, stop loss above the most recent swing high, and we will target the 1.5 risk to rewards. Beautiful. So now I'm going to go and back test this 100 times and come back to you with the results. Okay, so the results are in. In five weeks, I took 100 trades, 35 won and 65 lost, which means we had a win rate of 35%. We had a max drawdown of 6R and max gain of 4.5R. So that was negative. The win rate was completely negative since we can't make profit when we target a 1.5 risk to reward and having a win rate of 35%. So the net profit in five weeks was minus 12.5%. So for now, I would definitely not recommend trading this system. I'm going to go and try and backtest this and improve this by adding in a directional indicator and seeing if we can improve the results. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure you always trade safe and backtest every single system you see on YouTube yourself, even the ones that I do. So thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time.